I had a friend call me the other day. He had a six liter behind me. Uh, 04, I think it is. Uh, the, it's an earlier one, but it's got the ICP sensor on the passenger side. I uh, believe it's got an updated pump, but just to give you an idea of the engine. A lot of people think a lot of that has to play with it. Um, so he had an issue where it started to run rough, uh, lost the power when he was driving, and let's see, he once he got home, he shut it off, it wouldn't restart. So he didn't, didn't have an idea what it was. I uh, went over and checked it out. When I got over there, it had injector circuit code for number six and injector uh, six cylinder contribution. So basically, Fickham seeing an electrical issue and the PCM's picking up that six is not firing correctly. Something's, something's acting up there. So I check it out, fire it up. It, number six, it actually run pretty good other than the fact that number six was completely dead. Uh, six was not doing anything. Uh, so then I do uh, buzz tests on the injectors. They all actually pass, which was really weird. So I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe we actually have an internal fault on our uh, injector coils, or not, not injector coils, on the mechanical side. Maybe the uh, spool valve is stuck, maybe um, uh, plunger or spring is broken, something doesn't let the injector work properly. So uh, he finally gets out here. It runs good enough that he could get it out here. And um, when I get to it that evening, it won't even start uh, or run long enough. I had to hold my foot to the floor and get it running up. I'd put it in gear, it'd die. So I get it pushed in the shop. Um, and I had another injector that I plugged in. And oh, by the way, whenever I was doing the buzz test, you know, it, or it clicks each injector to let you know that it's working number six didn't didn't click um, so I plug a injector in okay now I've got all injectors clicking during the buzz test so <clears throat> I could have ohm tested from my Ficum to my uh, uh, oh from the injector to the Ficum to make sure the wires are good could have load tested those wires if I really needed to but plugging in the injector told me that the wires are working properly. So uh, I take the injector out, and the injector looks pretty good. Let's get so the first thing I wanted to check was the spool valve. And you can see from here, it moves pretty good. Oh, it's stuck there. But it moves really smooth. No issues. And so I'm looking around. Do I see any issues? No. Well, then I start looking at my coil. If you see here, you can see that coil is burnt. Look at this one, and it's fine. So, from bitter root, from uh, let me see, this company, I ordered new connector and coil uh, with shipping it was like $80 I don't know 70 on their website it's obviously gonna be different shipping everywhere else so you get two new coils connector so we're gonna put that on today solenoid bolt half a newton meter if we convert that to inch pounds On my calculator, cut 
comes up to 4.4 inch pounds. After I got this part and realized what it was doing, what had happened, and I mean, I probably should have done more testing, but the fact that it gave me a number six circuit code and contra cylinder contribution, at that point, I was confident that number six was causing our issue. Uh, if I still wasn't getting something that, you know, that told me what cylinder what most likely was happening since that coil wasn't working properly, the spool valve is getting stuck. And so it would probably pull it over what I believe is the, oh, possibly the close. I, I'd have to look which, uh, which coil is which, whether it's the open or close or which. So when it wouldn't run or whenever it was uh, running down the road, it was trying to move back and forth. That coil was probably still trying to work. So it would stick the spool valve open and basically it would have a high pressure oil leak or a small leak. I don't know, maybe it didn't go all the way over because that coil was bad. Um, so what I probably could have watched whenever it wasn't wanting to start very good is my ICP and see if it wasn't building enough pressure to run or maybe it was building enough to, you know, 500 to start, but once it started, it had trouble maintaining. Um, and at that point, I could have, you know, okay, if that's acting up, or I would have seen lower uh, injection control pressure, I would have known, hey, it's most likely something on my high pressure oil side. Um, but I didn't, and is what it is, because I found the issue. So... This. There we are. Wasn't all the way out. There we are. Okay, now I'm going to put new O-rings on it. Got some Motorcraft ones. Lube up the O-rings. That injector's ready to go in. Looking good. Oh, number five's not happy. Could have a little air in it. Hard to say. Still need to go drive it. Haven't driven it yet. Oh. Get rid of adaptive strategy there. And she's not happy. Number five. Number five might be hurting a little bit. That's not happy at all. Number six is good though. Let's see right there. Come down.
but the engine still is cold, so maybe some stiction. I bet you it isn't. Well, I'm not very happy. We'll take it for a drive. <laughs> 